Hello and welcome. I'm Mary Jeffers with Adder Technology and will be hosting today's webinar. Thank you for joining. Today is especially exciting because you will get to hear from three speakers. They are Kirill Lucan from Radex. He's going to cover data protection. Joe Kimpler from Adder Technology. He's going to talk about storage connectivity. And we have Andy Lee from EchoStreams talking about platforms. They will each present their own slides. And then at the end, if there are any questions, I will submit them to the panelists. So to kick things off, we're going to start with Kirill from Radex. Yeah, I'm very excited once again to have a word for the Radix software. So what is actually Radix? Radix is an innovative solution provider. And what we're doing, we're developing the uh, high-performing storage system. So actually, what is the biggest idea behind our product is that we would like to give the most advanced solution to our customers and partners. Next slide, please. So what is our product? It's just a high edge of technology and actually math. Because what we have in our in-house, we are having the math professionals and code professionals. So both of them are very important because together they create a very interesting product which can actually be very helpful in different segments of the customer's, uh, customer's infrastructures. So next slide, please. So what we are thinking about, what we're thinking our customers are, actually these guys are very interested in technology, they are so much into high performance, they need their performance in their infrastructures. It doesn't matter if we're talking about media customers, high performing computing customers, enterprise customers, or any other customers like video surveillance customers. All of them are in need of high performance, all of them are in need of reliability, and obviously this is what we are giving to them with the help of our solutions. So on the next slide, I would like to discuss a little bit more about the performance and how we are giving the performance to our customers. First of all, I would definitely need to say that sustainable storage is what everyone are in need of. And we are able to guarantee the sustainability with the help of our RAID technologies, which we have been developing. And we have developed our non stains and trait 7.3 which is giving actually a very beautiful control over the system. Actually, booting system performance uh, with our features such as uh, advanced reconstruction and many others are giving the possibility to actually be on uh, control of the system. Actually, if we go to the next slide, we will be able to understand that sustainable performance with uh, the recognition of two uh, different memory uh, memories, different storages, different components is a very important thing. Once we are also talking about the reduced array build time and actually the balanced performance, we are actually giving a very, very high performance solution to our customers. On the next slide, I would like to tell a little bit more about our uh, fault tolerance strategy because we are also able to give active, active architecture to our customers, which is giving them the understanding that their storage is going to work in any condition. And that gives them the trust to the solution. Actually, if we also think about data continuity and different trade mechanisms, which they can use in their house, we're definitely giving them 100% guarantee that they are under protection. If we go to the next slide, we would also understand that our solution is having a good value for the money. It's the technology which is giving the customers not what they want, but well, not what they want, but what they need. And we think that this is one of the key to success, to give the customers exactly what is meeting their SLAs. Still, I think that my colleagues from ATO and Ecostreams are going to talk a little bit more about the same things. If we move on, we would also understand that functionality, uh, and by functionality, I'm meaning 
being able to control the system proactively and reactively is also a key to success. If we think about built-in monitoring system, if we think about different level of reporting and different level of scalability, we can actually understand that this is the solution which the customers and most of the customers have been looking for. So, once I have talked a little bit about who we are, I would like to pass the floor to Joe and let him introduce you what is his part in this solution. Uh, thank you very much, Kirill, and uh, good morning to all those participants on the West Coast, and good afternoon and good evening to those elsewhere on the globe. Uh, next slide, please. For those of you unfamiliar with Addo, we've been in business for about 40 years. We're privately held and located in Buffalo, New York. Uh, as a little bit of a geographical pinpoint and a reference, it's, uh, we're very close to Niagara Falls, something very beautiful if you ever get into the area to see. We have actually have an engineering focus. Uh, three of our four founders started their careers in either electrical engineering or computer systems design, so we're engineering from top to bottom. Uh, we have a special key in interconnect that expands from fiber channel through SAS and SATA, Ethernet, uh, Thunderbolt for the people who are familiar with the M&E space, as well as the new technologies, NVMe and NVMe over fabrics. This uh, interconnect expertise is then put into our product line, which are host bus adapters, rate adapters, NICs, switches, Again, the Thunderbolt world, uh, Thunderbolt devices for the M&E, and then we have a plethora of software that complements our hardware and making it the most high performing in the industry. We're a global company, and we have customers, partners, and support worldwide throughout the Americas, EMEA, and APJ. Next slide, please. With over 40 years in the business, where with almost 40 years in the business, uh, we've actually built a very deep and wide worldwide customer base of tier one OEMs, companies like Apple, EMC, NetApp, Quantum, uh, NEC, and many, many others. We also have strong business relationships with over 100 value added resellers across the globe in the Americas, uh, EMEA, and APJ. So over 30,000 end users depend on nanotechnology to help run their companies. We're also integrated by system builders into servers, workstations, arrays, and our technologies are actually even a license at the ASIC level. We're a recognized market leader in many verticals, again, best known probably for the media and entertainment, but it doesn't stop there. Engineering and design, gas and oil, with applications such as backup and recovery, cloud virtualization, and of course, the ever-present, ever-expanding cloud uh, market. Next slide, please. So this slide is a little bit of an eye chart, but it also shows the breadth of the Addo product line and how critical we are that it connects components across the enterprise network. If we actually start in the upper left-hand corner, it shows our Ethernet solutions with the Addo NICs, both 10 and 40 gig NICs, and they provide extremely high performance, including uh, having uh, RDMA over converged Ethernet. Uh, this supplies uh, high performance by offloading the CPUs through the RDMA for the application servers and other network components. We have 10, I'm sorry, 25, 50, and 100 uh, NICs coming up in about a quarter and a half. Moving to the upper right-hand part of the image, it shows uh, Addo fiber channel switches and HBAs. And this provides high-performance fiber channel connectivity across many different departments with mixed workloads, including something unique to Addo, which is connectivity across Windows, Mac, and Linux workstations through our multi-path director software. At the three o'clock position uh, for work groups in the M&E vertical, the Thunderbolt connectivity is provided by our Thunderlink and Thunderstream products. Moving down to the 6 o'clock position of the slide, remote branches can be connected uh, via iSCSI as well through our fast frame NICs. SAS storage and tape are brought into enterprise 
network through our fiber bridge and extreme core controller products. If we take a look at the four main products, Mary, if you could click, there we go. There's the uh, Celerity HBAs. The Celerity HBA is 32, 16, and 8. Um, it's high performance. And uh, moving along to the extreme controller, uh, this actually brings fiber channel into SAS storage controllers and it allows users to integrate direct attach hard drives and SSDs and tape storage into a fiber channel network for protection and performance. Next one, please. Our fast frame NICs, again, we have 10 and 40 today. Uh, they have improved performance through the RDMA over converged Ethernet or Rocky, Rocky 1 and Rocky 2, which allows layer uh, Ethernet layer 3 and 4, um, sorry, 2 and 3 connectivity. The next one, please. And our last one is for specific for the Thunder Bolt connectivity, our Thunderlink products. These are both our Thunderstream and our Thunderlink products that are, are mainly used in the MNE space. Next slide, please. So where we excel is really in high performance environments. From the topology really on the last slide, you can see that Atos utilize within uh, various network parts across different enterprise and this provides proof points that we excel in the high performance environments. And actually this is a result of our design and where we started our design is to maximize four megabytes per second transfer and minimize latency. So if you look at the left-hand side of the slide, Atos products are actually designed from the ASIC up to maximize the megabytes per second in the um, sequential and real-time streaming environments. This is really important for video post-processing, CAD and CA and medical imaging, but it also has benefits in the mixed environment. So moving to the middle, you, that's actually where randomized sequential data is, and those are applications like business analytics, content distribution, and cloud-based applications. The information at the right is for random non-sequential. These are applications like databases, web servers, uh, and backup offices. A lot of these are actually measured in IOPS, but a better indicator of performance is actually if you maximize the megabytes per second transfer rate and minimize latency, this actually provides truer performance and it has an increase and therefore better application performance. Next slide, please. So some of our core technology is advanced data streaming. And this is for higher application performance and productivity. If you actually look at the graphs on the right, what you see is the performance in megabytes per second and the bottom graph and how it spikes. It has peaks and valleys. And with ADS, it actually smooths the performance in megabytes per second. That actually allows you to close in your banding on your quality of service. So if you're guaranteeing quality of service to certain applications like an ERP application, or a payroll application on a, on a Friday night when you need to run your payroll. Uh, the ADS actually smooths performance, allows you to tighten that band um, of performance, uh, that band of guarantee. And we actually do it by what we call bus mastering. This actually eliminates the communication, the need of communication between the host CPU and transferring data. And it, what it does, it transfers data directly uh, between the ADO host adapter and the system memory. So this actually frees up your CPU for other bandwidth, uh, to be used in other bandwidth. Another thing we do is there's a, what's called a disconnect and reconnect. And this actually increases the bus performance by eliminating kind of wait time between the ADO adapter and other devices. And this enables dynamic sharing of the bandwidth. Um, and so that's for very sophisticated environments. The last thing is we have advanced algorithms that are implemented to provide optimization for work group applications. And again, this is good for digital content creation, rich media, pre-press, and databases. Next slide, please. So this is where the technology actually meet products. We've talked a little bit about the technology, but a lot of our core competency is in latency management and bandwidth optimization. If you look upwards, 
we spread that across multiple pro protocols, SAS, SATA, Thunderbolt, Ethernet, Fiber Channel, and the upcoming v v uh, NVMe. And this uh, is then propagated into different bridges, Thunderbolt devices, storage controllers, host bus adapters, RAID adapters. So this is where our core competency comes up through protocol and into actual products. Next slide, please. So some of the differentiators that Addo has, these are some key ones. Uh, the advanced streaming technology, this provides I talked about it a little earlier, but it provides accelerate, uh, acceleration of our data to ensure smooth streaming. Our multi-path director is unique, where we can connect Mac and Windows and Linux workstations into enter, uh, enterprise class storage. And this uh, helps with load balancing because we can cross it over multi-paths. Our driver sure actually compensates for misbehaving drives, and uh, we prevent premature uh, failures and slowdowns, and we actually help ensure 100% uh, throughput during data rebuilds. Our intelligent bridging architecture is an anything-to-anything -anything connectivity. In the VMware environment, the vconfig tool is a software plugin that allows for management and monitoring of HBAs in the VMware vCenter environment. And our latency scout is a IO storage diagnostic utility that identifies bottlenecks, and this helps allow the, the admins to tune for performance optimization. Next slide, please. So as a total product uh, line overview, uh, Addo provides a full range of high performance connectivity products for enterprises and in the most demanding environments. Our products are, are designed to cover the widest ranges of protocols, and we have software tools that enhance the design advantages of our hardware. We're also a global leader in storage connectivity and infrastructure solutions, and we store, manage, and deliver data solutions to your business. Thank you. Next slide. Hi. Um, so um, Andy here. I'm just going to talk to briefly about EchoStreams and uh, EchoStream products. So uh, on the next slide, um, just uh, kind of briefly um, for those um, that are not quite familiar with EchoStream. So we have roughly about seven years old company. Um, we headquarters in the city of industry, about 20 miles uh, east of Los Angeles. Uh, but we do have a branch office in um, Japan, Taiwan, India, and Europe. Um, so uh, combined all together, we are roughly about 200 employees here. Um, and order of them uh, engineers. Um, so these past few years, we uh, enjoy uh, quite a big growth. So we have a uh, 100 um, KGAR uh, annual growth um, past uh, two, three years. So uh, we make quite a big um, investment in uh, to improve our product quality, reliability. Um, as you can see at the bottom, yeah, we do have uh, our own uh, assembly and uh, thermal chamber. Uh, shell fibers in pad. Uh, we also do simulation on the thermal and uh, signal intensity. So um, with all this, um, we hope to be able to uh, provide a, a platform that's uh, uh, reliable and, and higher quality. Um, on the next slide, um, basically what we always uh, deal with is um, the, this data pyramid. So how these different storage technology uh, in the market um, uh, will perform. So there's uh, from L1, L2 cache at the top, um, from the CPU to the uh, media memory, NVMe, uh, even 3D cross-com. Uh, and then you go lower than the MAN type and uh, the TIG drive. And tape drive. So uh, if you click next here, basically, um, you will see different types of uh, interfaces uh, and protocol on the left side and uh, the latency and, and speed on the right side. So this is how we uh, try to figure out um, what sort of um, storage media and uh, performance-wise and the uh, protocol. Needs. So if we click next, basically um, there's different types of market that requires different type of uh, uh, storage media. You know, 
even um, right now for the compliance archive at the bottom, um, tape and uh, optical drive still drive. So um, this is important in terms of the cost and the performance uh, that I showed earlier. Um, so we we try to figure out which product lines that we have to support the different types of uh, industry um, from the top uh, very high end uh, HPC uh, artificial intelligence that require really fast bandwidth um, to all the way for archive storage, object storage, uh, media entertainment, uh, CDN, uh, hyperconverge, and databases. So um, on the left side is basically our uh, five product lines, uh, the grid stream, flash stream, dual stream, Omnistream and scale stream. So I'll go a little bit uh, further for each one of them on the next slide. So the next one is, is kind of detail on our flash stream. So basically, this is um, supporting all different types of flash storage array, from SATA, SAS to NVMe. Um, we basically have a uh, high BIOS bandwidth that support uh, the media market or uh, any market in database that needs really fast performance. So on the left picture there at the bottom, uh, I'm sorry, please go back um, on the flash stream. So um, kind of, um, sorry, um, so on the flash stream uh, earlier, we have a really high throughput, 35 megabytes, uh, gigabytes per second um, that, you know, has a really low, uh, latency and the training and IOP. Um, so uh, this is all based on a really high throughput. Uh, on this slide, scale stream, we have a high density storage um, and the JBOD. Uh, we provide either 60 bay, 72 bay, 96 bay, three and a half inch. So you can basically can go up to a petabyte out of 40 bucks. We also provide redundant controller and uh, also uh, on the right here, basically we have some uh, cool uh, tray design that you just plug, uh, plug in their drive for ease of maintenance. So this is tourist without any screws. Uh, next slide is our uh, product that dual strings. So this is what uh, most people call pasta in the box or SVD. Uh, some people call it uh, storage space space. So we provide a redundant dual system for HA environment. Um, so uh, what's um, unique with our design is um, we based on standard off the shelf uh, component. So it gives you a uh, flexibility flexibility to upgrade. So on in the middle there, um, there's a standard EATX motherboard that is converted to be a hot possible um, system tray. Um, so Anything that you need to, uh, if you have a fail motherboard, you basically just swap out the uh, one of the uh, system trays, and uh, that way it also gives you flexibility when you know there's the next platform of uh, say new uh, Xeon processor or AMD processor, then uh, you can just swap out the the system tray. Uh, on the next slide is our um, Omnistream product. So this is uh, based on 12 gig SAS um, uh, storage controller from uh, Broadcom uh, side. Uh, we do pro uh, provide this as a appliance and uh, can be custom made to fit you know uh, different types of bezel and, and your IP list. Um, so that's pretty much uh, what we have here in terms of uh, server and storage uh, product. I'll give it back to um, Mary and, oh, I'm sorry, to Kirill on the next slide. Thank you very much, Andy. So, uh, dear audience, actually, I think that we had a very interesting presentation of what we are seeing in the portfolio of Redix, Ecostream, and Ata. But what we would like to give you in order for you to understand what kind of the technologies we are together, we would like to give you a case of the media and entertainment. 
So on the next slide, you can actually see a very beautiful quote of the guy who have changed the whole industry of entertainment. And what he said, that if he can ask for anything, that he would like to have an infinite storage. So I think that the aim uh, of our partners and those guys who you can hear today of Ata, Redix, and Echostream is actually we have the same value. We are willing and wishing to build this infinite storage for every specific customer so that he can say that this is exactly what he's willing to have in his premises. So what I think about it is that altogether we can give the solution which will be unique and very functional. So uh, I would like to pass the floor to Joe who is going to talk a little bit more about how this actually can be guaranteed and given to our customers. Hello, this is Joe speaking again. And uh, some of the questions that IT professionals are asking is, how is my infrastructure going to handle all the new digital data? Two, uh, are my performance requirements and metrics going to be met? And three, am I ready for it? So specifically to the digital post-processing environment, the key challenges are support for multi-UHD video streams, movement of high-density 4K and the newer 8K formats, HDR 16-bit color palettes, and virtual reality 360, which is just exploding the storage and multi multiplying the storage requirements by even 10 or 20 times. This new VR is having a lot of different applications, including shopping, your home shopping network, where it'll allow you to pick out your couch, its size, its color, and allow you to visualize it within your living room or your dining room. It's uh, really a neat technology, but it's just it is exploding the requirements for fast networking and more storage. Uh, Radex, uh, Addo, and Equistreams under, understand this and uh, these challenges, and we're offering solutions including coupling parallel processing with dynamic scheduling for the server workstation infrastructure. We're streaming four and eight K workloads into a single LUN without having to copy between storage, and we have 25 gig. Uh, throughput in the 4K and 8K media formats, including 16-bit HDR. With that, I'd like you to go roll to the next slide. Andy? Yeah, thanks, Joe. So, um, like what Joe mentioned just now is um, this um, solution that we kind of show in this diagram, basically try to um, uh, figure out what's the best for uh, post-production and raw uh, media entertainment. Uh, if you guys are familiar with post-production, basically you have uh, multiple different types of uh, colorists, uh, editors, and they all have their own preference on uh, their own workstation. You know, uh, at the top there, you can see some of them using a Windows platform, a Linux platform, a Mac, and um, you know their own laptop dependable. So all of this kind of creates uh, a little bit uh, challenge to uh, the IT administrator. You know, you have different types of profile uh, to go. But uh, with the, the, the breadth of uh, Arrow connectivity, um, you can just provide uh, fiber channels, either 16 gig or 32 gig, um, and you can have a Thunderlink product that connect from Thunderbolt to uh, 40 gig Ethernet. Um, so uh, you'll see the, uh, the all the add of fiber connect switches, uh, um, the Thunderlink will actually give uh, all the shared storage for um, these different types of uh, workstations. Um, so at the bottom part here, basically showing the uh, platform that Echostream provides, and with the help of uh, Radix and uh, Addo uh, HDA card uh, in the 12 gig drive, and for the connectivity with the uh, celerity and uh, the fast frame. So you have all this uh, redundancy between two switches. Um, you have uh, reliability of those redundancies and the performance as well. 
So if, uh, say, each of these workstations uh, need to uh, access the, the same movie clips uh, for them to edit, um, basically, Big Spots will be able to uh, serve all this in a high bandwidth. Um, basically, you know, the, the 32 gigabyte channel uh, can give you the, the 4K resolution um, the, uh, to stream directly from this uh, Big Spots. Um, and the, uh, the very bottom on the right, basically, you have uh, Arrow Express SAS. Um, that you can ex you know, extend the storage uh, to even bigger uh, drive storage and uh, enjoy uh, 4060 gb. So this is give you enormous uh, data storage on top of the, uh, the flash storage and all that one too. Um, so on the next slide, it kind of summarize uh, what uh, we're able to provide. Um, so what echo stream storage platform, uh, if you add it to uh, the next uh, Revit software and the uh, added connectivity. So basically with this, um, the next one will give you a total 160 gigabit throughput. Um, so with this kind of a bandwidth throughput, you basically can do uh, eight raw 4K streams. Uh, this is based on the 30 frames per second, uh, 444 uh, color chroma, and uh, and or if you want to stream uh, 8K, you can either, either do this uh, two stream out of this box simultaneously. And with Redix uh, redundancy, you can rest sure this is uh, protected, um, and you can get almost a petabyte of storage out of this. Um, so. We think uh, combined solution between the uh, Redis Arrow and Echo Stream will give you guys uh, uh, a really high performance, high reliability, and service stability um, for the NIC. And uh, we tend to do more cooperation on uh, our uh, partnership here uh, for you know, long term uh, future. And um, you know whatever next new technology we have, uh, we can rest assured there will be a, a new uh, solution that we can provide. Uh, with that, um, the next slide we probably great. Yes, yeah, back to me, Andy. Thank you so much, and I'd like to say thank you to all of our panelists. Um, at this point, I'm going to open the floor up to questions. Um, so we've already had a couple come in. The first one is, Andy, just on that last slide on the media solution example, you mentioned that you can achieve one petabyte of storage. Um, what if someone needs more than that, like two petabytes or even five? Um, yeah, that's a great question. So um, as uh, I showed a little bit earlier, there's uh, Express Half HDA um, that you can connect to the JBot. Um, so the the one that I'm showing is based on 60 drive, uh, two and a half inch JBot. So you can, if you just use a 10 terabyte drive, so that's about uh, 600 uh, petabytes. You know, um, one thing you can always increase the hard drive size. Um, but then again, you know, we also support DC chain uh, on the JBot. So instead of just one 60 bay, um, you can expand to two or three uh, JBots that will give you uh, roughly two petabytes. And uh, we also provide different types of JBot with a 72 bay and 92 bay. Uh, our 92 bay basically give you a petabyte each on that JBot. So uh, if you add up to five there, that's gonna give you five petabytes of storage. And um, with also Radix software, you can always scale this to multiple hosts as well cluster them together. Hopefully that answers the question. Yeah, I think so. The um the other question that we had come in was where can someone buy this? Um 
So EchoStream actually uh, have a partnership with Arrow and Redix, uh, so we can um, direct you guys um, where to buy. And we also have a partnership with uh, System Degrader and Bard that uh, they can give you guys a value added um, product. So if you go to uh, EchoStream website, you can see our uh, partners that service um, you guys uh, in the entertainment and different types of industry so um, and different regions as well so you can check our website and uh, click on where to buy okay great um, so that's it for the questions um, once again I'd like to thank everyone for attending today's webinar if you do have more follow-up questions or would like to know more about this solution or companies please do not hesitate to reach out we would love to talk with you more about our companies and our solutions. As you can see on the screen, to contact Radix, simply email request at radix.com. To contact Addo, email access at addo.com. That one comes directly to me, and I will respond as soon as I can. And then to contact EchoStreams, as Andy said, email sales at echostreams.com. We really do look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again for attending today, and that concludes today's presentation. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.